Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, we have got my good friend Danny's deck. He has just built this. He, he's tinkered with it a little bit, but it's uh, Child of Alara. And his idea here is that, of course, you know, 6-6 six, six, trample for 5. When it, when it dies, destroy all non-land permits. They cannot be regenerated. So, the idea is to get Child of Alara out, start just getting aggro with it and if it dies it dies sure if you want to kill it boom um he has got a couple of uh pump pieces here to uh to make the child significantly bigger cranial plating you will see the artifacts throughout the deck as we go um and the sun forger now the sun forger was chosen mainly because of plus four plus oh yes you do have the uh um ability to go get your sword or path or whatever here with it but that's the basic premise of the deck so it is five colors so let's look at our mana fixing shall we we have uh soul ring dark steel ingot commander sphere are uh really good in five color the Cultivate and the Lotus Cobra, getting any color. Uh, the Arcane Signet, Thought Vessel, and then the Sad Robot. going to go get that whatever land that you need. Um, it's got to reforge the Soul Force. Is that foil, Danny? I'll be dang. Um, for card draw. Now, the... The pair of altars, the altar of dementia and the Phyrexian altar, are there just in case you he needs to uh, quickly sacrifice the child to blow up the world. Um, now, Dark Steel Forge keeps his from, you know, he keeps those altars from blowing up when the child goes nuclear. Uh, so. But now, there's one one little combo in here that absolutely blew my mind. Um, and he's played this deck against me several times. What One game, I was... I, I died first. I was out of the room. I come back and he had done it. He had cast Armageddon. And while Armageddon was on the stack, he cast Teferi's Protection. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's a uh, that's pretty hardcore right there. Um, we have got some other other creatures here. Seedborn Muse, just a great card, you know, untapping multiple times. Kokosho, another card. We don't really care if it dies or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Worm Coil Engine, keep on splitting. Yose. Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, uh, Lord of Extinction, because you know what, this is this is a great card. Things are going to die. Just That's just the way it is. There's going to be a ton of cards in graveyards. Uh, and then, of course, everybody's favorite, the Hangerback Walker, Mecha Godzilla. So, that is... The creature base. Well, I, I, I mean, there's another one, the bringer of the black dawn. We actually, this was a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I suggested this to him. I said, "Hey, do you have?" Because all the bringers are awesome, right? The problem is, you've got to put, you've got to have a five color deck for them, because of just just the way color identity works, and uh, I mean. If you got room in your five color deck for a bringer of the Black Dawn, it gets you essentially a vampiric tutor every turn. With that, he has a, a demonic tutor and an enlightened tutor. The enlightened tutor, uh, of, of course, to go get uh, any artifact that he may need, the forge or or an enchantment, because he pulled this beautiful meat hook massacre. Um, yeah, it. It doubles as a board wipe. Each creature gets minus two end of turn. Uh, and then a creature you control, each opponent loses one. 
and a creature an opponent controls, you gain one. So, uh, I mean, this is a great hook card. It, it's currently skyrocketing now, and i got to believe it is a commander thing. So let's look at his... All those were the creatures, well, the only problem is they're going to die like all the always. So he has ways to bring them back, you know. Late to dinner is going to just take one. Late to dinner... Great card because it's only one white pip, so it's perfect for the five color. Uh, he's still using the uh, the resurrection because I'm telling you, brought back, triumphant reckoning, song of inspiration. Now reconstruct history. That's a whole bunch of words on a magic card, and that brings back just about anything you want. And then of course Praetor's Council. Just I'll I'll take it all back. Um. He has <laughs> Leyline of the Void, because, you know, if you're blowing everything up, you don't want to help your opponents out. Uh, Vincer, Capsize, Heroic Intervention is another really good one. Uh, with the uh, uh, Child Ability. Mm, nice. Vincer's Journal, slow that life gain and... Or, or slow the bleed, because... Your opponents are probably going to out-creature you. I mean, just by the sheer numbers. But when Child of Alar is actually on the board, it does kind of choke people's hand. Because everybody... I've played against it. And you know the thing's going to blow up. You don't know if somebody's going to kill it or if he's going to kill it himself. So, any kind of incidental life gain you can get, with, especially with no max hand size. Profane Transfusion. Yeah. And he has two counter magics, uh, a disallow and a mana drain. Uh, now for removal, he's got spot and global. So let's look at the spot removal first. Uh, the path and the sword uh, I mentioned earlier from the the dark steel mutation reclamation sage. Acidic Slime, Vindicate, and then Legacy Weapon. It's a great card for five color. I, I mean, just Exile Target Permanent is pretty sweet. But now he has Board Wipes. And he has significant... There are ten Board Wipes here. Uh, one of my personal favorites is, uh, is Planar Collapse. Because you have two kinds of players. If you throw this down on turn two, you have two kinds of of players. One, they hold the creatures in their hand. The other one, let's play it all out so we can get it gone. Either way, you're at least getting a one for four, right? Uh, Wrath of God, Day of Judgment, Fumigate, Neveril's Disc, Acroma's Vengeance, Chain Reaction, Toxic Deluge. Toxic Deluge is a real big one, too, because indestructible creatures happen, and this gets around that. <clears throat> Blasphemous Act, and Vanquish the Horde. And then we move into his non-basic lands, which is always a, a beautiful thing. Uh, Deserted Beach. Fabled Passage. Temple of Plenty. Training Center, Haunted Ridge, Shipwreck Marsh, Reliquary Tower, Vault of Champions, Rockfall Vale, Temple of Malady, Mana Confluence, Rejuvenating Springs, Temple of Deceit, Savai Triome, Rogan Triome, Indatha Triome, and his last non-basic is Field of the Dead. Now, because of Field of the Dead, he has some basics and some snow-covered basics just to get the differently named cards. So, I like the deck. It is frustrating to play against. I mean, it's a good deck, uh, but you, yeah, it. Uh, you got to find a way, something, some way, somehow. You've got to always save a counter for it, or 
exile it or something you've got to find a way because if you leave this deck unchecked it is a problem you play the game on his terms and that's never good but anyway that is what i have got for today i do appreciate y'all watching and uh, uh y'all let me know what you think we'll see y'all tomorrow